I mean, the, the excitement and the energy is there, but I think everything extra has been created by outside influence, so that's neither here nor there. I don't know what the, that reality is. I don't necessarily concern myself with that because, I mean, if I do, I'd, I'd really be doing myself a disservice and my teammates a disservice of trying to figure out whether or not I want to give some distractions or specific people energy in terms of what they're saying or what they think is, uh, you know, what they think about what's going on. I mean, everyone's entitled to an opinion. I respect it, but it's my job to go out there and be the best I can be for my teammates and ultimately try to win every single game and put myself and my teammates in a great position to win. I mean, it's going to happen regardless. That's just the nature of the business. I understand that, but that reality is uh, I leave that for other people. Come along. You set out some goals that you have, uh, you know, as a team. Uh, you know, we, we talk about those every single day as we prepare. Then. Uh, you know, you have goals that you want to hit individually that you want to maintain throughout the entire season. Um, and it's all within the realm of being beneficial for the team, ultimately raising the level uh, of our team play. I, just, uh, I guess I'm just ready to get going. Um, there's been a lot of things happening this summer, a lot of buildup. Uh, ready, to, ready to get to the game. Um, it's going to be a fun, fun matchup for sure. You guys have a lot of new pieces that you guys have been working to kind of develop chemistry and, and camp with. Where do you see you guys at in, in, along those lines? Um, I think we're coming together nicely. I think the one thing that we have is a lot of guys that can do multiple things. Um, so a lot of versatility, both offensively and defensively. And we have a lot of smart basketball players too. And uh, I think that's going to help us, especially early on, uh, because things probably aren't going to go as smoothly as we want them to. But if we compete, um, you know, we use our heads. We're, you know, we're smart out there. It'll, it'll go a lot better for us. And for you, just trying to figure out what exactly this team needs from you. Because in Utah, obviously, your role was very different than it is here. Talk about just right. that process of finding what you can do to help these guys. Right. Um, I can do a lot of different things, and I think that's the beauty of, of a lot of the guys on the team. Um, you know, I think it'll be different each each night with uh, some of the different roles that we play. But for me, it's going to be competing on both ends of the floor, uh, you know, trying to do whatever I can to help us win. How much uh, where were you sitting Yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming along. It's, it's getting better each day. Um, just with practice, with being around the guys, you start to learn them. Um, and I think game by game, you'll see it get better. When you say you've got a lot of smart players on this team, what stands out to you in that sense? Uh, I just mean, like, defensively, knowing, you know, where to be, uh, knowing when to switch, uh, what basketball plays are about to happen so you can be there and, and uh, anticipate a little bit better. Uh, that's kind of what I mean. I know the past seven years in Utah, you get every game wanting to win. But what's it like to play for a team that probably expects to win every night or thinks they can every night? Yeah. Um, well, I think, I think even last year, I go, we, we went into games expecting to win. You go in with a game plan, you don't go in with a losing mentality. So that part's definitely no different. Um, you, you feel like you have a game plan, and if you execute it, you have a chance to win. Um, so that, that, that will stay the same.